Hello, my name is Ujjal and today I am going to show you my daily lunch time routine. This is my office in Bengaluru and I work as an editor for two international online business news portals. Down to today's agenda, I am starving man, I am starving today which is like every day at this time of the day because I'll be honest, it is also the first meal of my day. I skip my breakfast. I'm habituated to survive without my breakfast. Yeah, you can judge me as much as you want. I'm a very down to earth as I would like to believe. And hence my preferred mode of transport in Bangalore city is my trusty cycle. It helps me to unlock my boredom and wind up my day with a positive note. It's light, it's nimble and yeah, don't even start me with the mileage. Hello buddy, had your lunch? I'll go have mine, huh? So let me check, oh my god, oh no, 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 Ayyo. I just remembered my rear tire, the tube had gone away and my cycle repair guy had you know, notified me that I should change it and today it had to happen today I mean really <sighs> on a day when I feel very hungry and lonely I get a flat tire yeah these are the days that make other days great so yeah this is kind of a residential complex residential area so this is where my office is and also where my residence is. Oh god, this hot day. I have to push my cycle. This has been really a long time since I have been walking through these streets. Normally I just swift past these stores, these complexes, these big buildings and today I'm kind of noticing these new roads, the undulations on these new roads and also some of the changes that have happened in these res residential buildings maybe everything happens for good maybe God wants me to come down to earth and have a different experience of my day to day life man what would I do if I could have yeah no issue let me just Soak in all the glimpses. By the way, life is all about these twists and turns. Otherwise, who wants to live a very boring and relaxed life? Sometimes I wonder, am I going in the right direction? Am I just going around in my life? Am I on my right direction towards my goals or am I just distracted? Or maybe I'm just waiting for the next big idea to just pop out from somewhere. I faced many obstacles in my life and I won't complain because many of these obstacles have actually inspired many of my innovations, many of my inspirations. So yeah. Thank you Lord, help me pass through this obstacle as well. So this is Bakshu, he is my usual cycle repair guy and today he is going to change the tube of my tires, hopefully as fast as possible. Now as he carefully removes the rear tires with precision and power. I can see he is a man of talent. I just glimpsed through the tools that he used for removing my tires. Honestly, I believe he would be really well off if he just had spoon and forks in them. This man is really an adage to that proverb. 
a bad worker will always blame his tools this guy knows what he is doing as the time passed and as the life world moved on i just stayed there watching every move every step every process that it took to change a tube in my tire patience patience even though it is new he still checks it so that just to make sure it's not a faulty one man i'm really running out of patience here but there's nothing i can do but wait basically my anxiety is stemming from the fact that i am really hungry on any other day by this time i would have been gulping rice with sambar by now Although he worked his magic in a jiffy, I had lost my precious half an hour of my lunch time. It was when he tightened the last bolt on my tire that I got a grip of the time. with my tires all pumped up it was time for me to hit the road back to the restaurant now i know how professional cyclists are able to be slim and clock over 70 km per hour Obviously they must have all been starving the night before and hence are trying to cross the finish line before lunch. It's high time that I started planning my next landmark event in life. Talking about landmarks, here is a landmark of this area, Udupi Vaibo. It is the most famous hotel in this area mostly because of its quality food. It has unlocked the secret taste bud of the localities here. The smell of the hot coffee is making me even more hungry. I prefer this restaurant for my lunch because the service is fast and also because it has gotten too familiar to me now. the even funnier part of this is i don't even have to ask the specials for the day and even they don't bother to tell me as well i just tell him uta in kannada and he delivers that big smile on his face because he knows it is expected from his smile i can sense him telling me to have something special for lunch today but he won't you know these lunch meals are the only things that are ready faster than any fast food and fills up my stomach more than any fancy restaurant 
so yeah this is fast and wholesome even the food handlers and suppliers have come to accept the reality and could be planning to make me the brand ambassador for uta never know so here is the whole concept behind my lunch time i have a one hour time it takes me around 10 minutes to cycle from my office to the restaurant so in total i have just 40 minutes to spare in the restaurant of that 40 If I have to spend 5 minutes on deciding from menu and wait for 15 to 20 minutes for the food to actually arrive, I would rather opt for a fast food restaurant. However, I do not prefer fast foods and I love rice. So what is it that I could order in 1 minute will be ready in 2 minutes and can be enjoyed for 15 to 20 minutes? No, it's not Maggie, it's veg south meal. Hence I stick to my routine. Although it might sound boring having the same lunch every single day I have other ways of making my life interesting And by the way their veg side dish is always different every other day I clean my plate as fast as possible. Now that is what I call a happy meal. the way i bid my farewell <laughs> sometimes you know we people tend to believe that everyone remembers us forever but yeah sadly only a few 100 to 150 will always remember us till the end of their lives as i see i believe i have 10 minutes left in my lunch time and in 10 minutes i have to cross 2 kilometers Anyways, I am on my cycle and got speed. With doom music in my mind, I am trying to cover 2 kilometers in less than 10 minutes. This is what I love about cycling. Pedaling, 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 pedaling. Trying to garner the speed from all the energy I have in my body. Energy that I just fueled up from my lunch the reason i chose this route is because again this is the one of the most smoothest routes in these regions and it really helps me to garner some speed and make up for the time that is 10 minutes as much as i remember the maximum speed i could take up on my cycle is 40 km per hour I don't care who's following me I don't care who's in front of me I just know I need to reach my office as early as possible now
so I, as i entered the last stretch of the road the last turn of the road i am trying to recreate the last dash that uh, most of the tour de france professionals have you know that last 1 km or 500 m dash that they have to the finish line i don't care if the motorcycles are on 40 km per hour or the uh, roads are really narrow but as far as i know i need to reach the office as early as possible so here i go oh this is also the school time children are returning from the school there are school buses on road oof just missed again missed man that was really close there is no use of this dash if i end up in the hospital instead of the office theek hai let's slow down let's slow down Right, please, side, right, please. Uh, I jump. Oh no! Just, just. Anyway, that is something I try to do every day. But let's see. Sometimes I'm at a. Sometimes I get it correct. Back to my layout. Back to the lane. And back to my building. I can wind up my lunch time adventure. I'm climb up to my office. I think I'm going to be late by just five minutes today. Anyways. but still explainable let's go let's go let's go and i'm in <laughs> 